Now on the track, the men's 1,500 meters. The world record, 327.37. The American mark set in 1985 by Sidney Marie. And a tremendous field here. Among the men we'll be watching, John Kibowen of Kenya, Venus Nyongabo of Burundi, Nordin Morsali of Algeria, and Hisham El Garouj of Morocco, who was the winner in Oslo in pursuit of the Golden Four. Bob will cite these people, and there you see Holman right now is in fourth place as he kind of did a bit of a two-step there to stay out of being stepped on and spiked by someone else. That is him with the green and white on of his Reebok singlet. Robert Cabet from Kenya is due to tow this field. Now, remember, this is almost a full mile race, everybody. They're going by in 1 minute 49 seconds. Probably 15 years ago, that would get you into the national championships in the United States if you ran that fast, alone for 800. Vincent Malakwan from Kenya will tow the field through three quarters of a mile in about a 248 plus pace. So it's just stunning what these people are doing. Hisham El Garouj runs now in fourth place on the inside lane. Steve Holman of the United States back in seventh. Watch also here in distance races like this, everybody at home. If you haven't seen European meets, notice the applause, follow the athletes around. Look in the stands there. And wherever the athletes pass by in a race, everybody gives them rhythmic applause. 25,000 people, most of whom bought their tickets six to nine months ago in this facility. There you see Holman. There's Fermin Katra, number 45, the 1992 Olympic champion. Number one, there you see right there, is the Olympic champion, correction, the world champion, that is Hisham El Garouche. Coming up to the 800 meter mark, Bob. 53-5 at the first 400 meters. One fifty point zero three at eight hundred meters. Let me mention also what you're looking at right now. Notice the rib cut. This is a view from the side of the track. It is cut in an angular fashion. It is ribbed like the soles of early running shoes. And this is fifteen millimeters in thickness, twice the thickness of Atlanta. It gives these distance runners a better cushion of bounce and it projects them subtly forward because of the rib nature of the cut of the track that they're running on right now. That is Vincent Malakwan pushing the pace. That is El Garouge in second. Sulem, uh, Hisham El Garouge, and right behind him on the inside being boxed in right now a little bit, that is Gordy Morsali. Three of the finest milers in history running just off the rabbit's shoulder, and now they burst through. That's Hisham El Garouge, followed by Noradine Morsali, 248-24. This is the race between these two big stars, both still young. Morsali, 27. El Garouge, just 22. Many more years of excitement here. Let's see if Morsali can track him down. He's been sick earlier this year. He says he's feeling better, and his training's gone better as we have 150 meters to go. Make that four of the best ever. Fermin Cacho runs in third place. Venus Nyungabo at his shoulder. Here comes Cacho, the Spaniard. Onto the straightaway. Passing for second. Moving on, El Garouj for the lead. A look back over his shoulder. Hicham El Garouj tries to hold off Fermin Cacho. Nyungabo comes up for third. And that's the way they finish. El Garouj, Cacho, and Nyungabo. We have just seen the second fastest time ever run for the 1,500 meters, Bob. 327.37 is Dordine Morsali's world record. The world all-time top 10 has Hisham El Garouche at 329 plus. Tremendous performance. Final results of the men's 1,500 meters. Officially the fastest group 1,500 of all time. Hisham El Garouche, who came in second all-time, improves that performance.